Hello, church, and welcome to Pastor Mary Beth's mini message for June 7th, 2020. I pray that you have found ways to be joyful this week. In the midst of the chaos and heartbreak that is happening across our country, may we be the open hearted and peace filled disciples of, that Christ calls us to be. Now, this is the week in the church year known as Pentecost. Pentecost was first mentioned in the Old Testament as a feast or festival of weeks. It was a chance to have a party and celebrate the first harvest of wheat. As Christians, we associate Pentecost with that wild and crazy moment when the disciples were gathered in a house after the resurrection and ascension of Jesus. Suddenly, they all heard the whoosh of a giant wind, and then they saw what is described in the second chapter of Acts as tongues of fire entering the room. These fireballs arranged themselves above the heads of the disciples filling them with what they would come to know as the Holy Spirit. This Spirit enabled them to speak in many different languages so that witnesses from at least 15 different countries could understand the story of Jesus in their own tongue. Now, I wear my face mask when I am in public. I don't really like to wear it. It's hot. It's hot. It chafes my skin, and I miss my lip gloss. But I do it anyway because I don't want to be the one to share a virus with anyone. Now, my mask, this mask, seems like the opposite of a tongue of fire allowing me to speak so others can understand me. You know, I find that I speak less with it on, and it got me thinking that maybe that's not such a bad thing. When I am tempted to say that one last thing rather than listen for someone else's one last thing, my mask helps me remember silence. When I can't make someone understand me because they are hearing impaired and they need to see my lips, I remember to enunciate more clearly and not to not take my senses for granted. When my mouth is covered in a crowd, I acknowledge that there are millions of people who have no voice and that we must listen more closely for the voices struggling to be heard. When my ears get sore from the elastic, I am reminded to listen for the st still small voice of God. When my glasses fog up, I wonder what or who I am missing that aches to be seen. And when I see someone in their face mask, I'm grateful that they have cared for me. And when I've rewashed my face mask and I've laid it out on the counter to dry, I'm so very grateful for the hands that made it for me. Maybe all of this is today's phenomenon of Pentecost, the desire to share the goodness of God with all people. The reminder that the Holy Spirit is just waiting to show us the miracle we crave and all we really need to do is to open our minds to the possibilities. Maybe the modern wonder of Pentecost is that the good news of Jesus Christ has finally and truly gone viral. When they had witnessed the miracle of Pentecost, some of the bystanders gaped at each other. They threw their hands in the air and they said, what does this mean? So I ask you, what does it mean for you? Maybe the answer isn't dancing as a tongue of fire above your head, but it is most certainly waiting for you to notice it. May you sense and share the power of God, the leadership of Jesus Christ, and the energy of the Holy Spirit this week. so sweet to trust in Jesus and to take him at his word just to rest upon his promise and to know the same oh, Jesus, Jesus how I trust him how I proved him over and over Jesus, Jesus precious Jesus Oh, for grace to trust him more. Oh, how sweet to trust in Jesus, just to trust his cleansing blood. And in simple faith to plunge me neath the healing cleansing flood. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I proved him more. Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to 
trust him more Yes, tis sweet to trust in Jesus Just from sin and self to cease Just from Jesus simply taking Life and rest and joy and peace How I trust him, how I prove to him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. And now, in the spirit of Sunday worship, will you say the Lord's Prayer with me? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. May you be at peace knowing that God is at work in your life. May you be Jesus to those who need you, offering understanding in a world that so desperately needs it. May you meet the Holy Spirit who dances in the stillness of your heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless. <laughs>